in this session let us now go for the last two options last two commands in the manipulate toolbar over here we have align elements by edge tool the align elements by edge tool is used to align a number of elements with a single particular element either in the top direction or along the left or along the bottom or right or center, whatever direction we choose we can choose the direction over here that is the alignment option we have top bottom left right horizontal center vertical center and center in both the ways that is horizontal as well as vertical center so using all those alignment options we can align a number of objects with respect to a single entity for example over here i have created one bigger rectangle and three small circles of varying dias so now what i'm going to do is using the alignment option click on the alignment option next you're supposed to select a base element for alignment that is the element on which you want the objects to be aligned that is i'm selecting this rectangle as the base element on which i want the circles to be aligned click on the rectangle it becomes dotted in this way after which you need to select the objects which are to be aligned for example over here i'll select the alignment of method as top and next i'll click on the circle so this circle will be aligned with respect to this rectangle on the top direction in the top direction click on the circle even it will be placed on the top edge similarly this one on the top edge all of them will be placed or if we do not want the top side i'll go with redo for now control z right after this say let me choose bottom select bottom select this rectangle after which i'll select the circles which will then be aligned at the bottom edge in this way we can select a particular edge or a particular alignment option and align a number of entities let me go with undo right select this alignment in this way we can choose any of these options left or right say i'm going with the right option select right click on this rectangle anywhere you can select it after selecting next i need to select this circle it will be aligned to the right edge similarly this one similarly this one all of them get aligned left click to accept or right click to accept i'll go with undo control z now this time i'm going to choose the centers select horizontal center option and select this rectangle after which when i click on this circle it will be placed in the center along the horizontal select this and it is placed over here select this and even this is placed in this way or else you can go with the vertical placement i'm selecting the vertical center then select this rectangle after which this one this and this and do the last option over here is both center that is horizontal as well as vertical that is these circles will come at the center point of this rectangle select the rectangle after which click on the circles and you can see all the three circles have been placed over here at the center of this rectangle that is our alignment option next let me delete this sorry now i'm creating a rectangle over here in this way and the x and y values of this rectangle i am going to specify as x value let it be some 200 and y value let it be 100 enter and left click thus we have created a rectangle which has a horizontal distance that is the length as 200 and the height as 100 now i will create one circle over here at this particular location after which i want to fill this entire rectangle using this circle i can use the copy option but 
over here when I choose the copy option firstly I need to select one direction in this way then the other direction in this way and then if I want a matrix that is completely filled rectangle then I will have to use copy a number of times instead of this similar to the array command in AutoCAD we have the array option over here construct array I want to construct an array using the circle so I'll select the circle then click on the construct array option in this again you have two types of arrays rectangular and polar rectangular array is used for objects such as these such as in the horizontal and vertical directions when you want the array to be in the matrix form whereas the polar array is used when you want the circles or whatever objects you want to array about a circular figure or about an arc or about a circle so polar is used for circular figures whereas rectangular is used when you want it in the form of a matrix that is rows and columns for now I'm selecting rectangular option and next you need to select the number of rows and number of columns let us choose the number of rows to be 2 itself and number of columns I'm letting it be 5 after which comes the row spacing let this be some 25 and next comes the column spacing let this be some 40 all right and now I'll go with enter and left click now you can see we had created two rows so we got two rows over here and the number of columns is 5 1 2 3 4 and 5 number of columns is 5 number of rows is 2 and the horizontal spacing between the centers of the circle is what we had given over there let me let us cross check over here so like this from this end to point this extension till here right click this is the 25 is the row spacing and column spacing we had given as 40 select the center point this is the extension line and till here right click to accept it and this is the 40 units of column spacing in this way we have created a rectangular array so now uh, let me delete these dimensions and next I'll again go over here select these circles and delete them I'm selecting all the circles which were created over here or let us instead go with undo right now I have the circle option over here the circle created over here next I'm going to select the circle again go with rectangular array column spacing is given as 40 row spacing as 25 let me choose row spacing as minus 25 this time column spacing is as it is 40 go with enter and left click and now you can see when you give a negative sign over there between the spacing you will be getting it downwards since your circle is present over here and you're going down over here you can give the negative spacing in this way you can fill the entire object I can even go with number of sorry control R for redo I'll select this select the rectangular array and this time instead of two rows I'll go with three rows so that this entire rectangle is filled number of columns is 5 the same methods everything is same go with enter and go with left click in this way we have filled this entire space similarly we have one more option called the polar array I'm creating a circle over here on this circle let us select one rectangle in this way and now if I want this rectangle to be placed along the circumference of this circle at given distances then I'll have to select this rectangle go with the construct array option select this and this time instead of rectangular we'll be going with the polar option since you want it to be placed along the circumference of an arc or a circle now number of items to be created is 4 delta angle delta angle over here refers to the angle between one object and the succeeding or the preceding object that is the next object or the previous object let me choose the delta angle as 45 degrees rotate items go with yes and left click over here now you got these objects 
over here rotated in this way but you want them to be specified along the circumference this is possible by selecting the center points i'll go with undo for now let us delete this existing rectangle right and now fit view i'm going to select the rectangle go with the construct array option the same settings i'm going to specify the center points i need to specify the center point of the rectangle first after which i'll specify the center point about which you want to rotate this item that is the center point of the circle click over here and these get placed now the angle between each item is 45 degrees between this rectangle and this rectangle is 45 between this and this is 45 in the same way between each of those objects the angle will be 45 degrees select the array option this time i'll go with 90 value okay. and i'll remove the rotate or items option i'm going to select the center point over here and the center point of this circle this center you not get selected properly i suppose i'm selecting the rectangle go with array option 4 and 90 yeah select the center and this center in this way you can rotate the object and create multiple copies along a circumference along an arc that is your array option and that completes the manipulate toolbar i'm stopping the session over here let us continue in the next session